Hello and how are you? My name is Mahindo Mubarak and I will come here uh, to our third session of creating a complete uh, multi-vendor e-commerce platform where we shall create a dashboard, administrator's dashboard. We we'll create a mobile application and also we we'll create a website. So that is the journey that we embarked on. I shared with you the codes that you have to begin with. So if you, don't, you have not received those codes, the source code that I shared with you, I recommend you to watch the first video. I show you how you get the code to begin with as well as setting it up on your computer. So with that much said, let's go straight into our today's business. As you know, we always do 40 minutes. So I'll go ahead and start our timer. So in the previous lecture, we are looking at a picture problem uh, whereby we wanted to compress our picture. So after the lecture of yesterday, I went ahead and did some research and I've got a very amazing, um, an amazing uh, plugin or uh, a package for Flutter that is used for, for compressing pictures. So we're going to explore it together and we see how we can make our things uh, do much more better. So let's go ahead and we look at the plugin itself, the package. So the package is called uh, Flutter. This is the package. You see, it is very, very popular, extremely popular. It is, it is, it is perfect. So these are the most maximum points. This is the most maximum popularity and has good number of likes. So it can really be relevant uh, for you. So um, you go ahead and search Flutter image compress. Compress, uh, you'll find it. So you'll find here how where it supports and then um, how to use it. Okay, this is how you use it. So to install it, you just simply go ahead and come to install page. So you can install it by either running this command or by by doing what? By copying this and adding it to your dependencies. So for me, I've already inst installed it by running this command. So I just simply came here and then pasted it here and I installed it. So I was testing it. Um, so you remember yesterday, we we're having a very heavy picture of 3.6 MBs. So I, what I was doing, I created um, a function. I just copied the function that uh, was there that is used to compress. It is fast and it even compresses things. So I copied it, I copied it, and then I came and put it in my utils. So if you come in my utils, you'll find this function for compressing. It is called, I called it test compress and get file. So I can say maybe image compress. So I can just change it its name here and say image compress. Okay. <coughs> Sorry about that. So it will begin by receiving a file. And then you give it a target where I should save the compressed what? The compressed file. So it will just have a variable, then a weight, then you go ahead and uh, and say uh, you go ahead and call flutter image compress flutter image compress dot compress and get file and then you give it the absolute file or the path of the file that you want to compress and then after you give it the target where I should say the file and you give it the quality <coughs> of the file that you want to compress so you can it has more parameters. You can uh, you can either maybe auto cor auto correction the angle format you may change the format you may see if it is simple sa a sample size you may say keep minimum height maximum height the number of of uh, ret retries and also the rotate you can even rotate the image using this uh, compression file. I mean compression package. So for us, we are much more interested in just compressing. However, if you want to rotate the image, you can as well rotate it. So after doing so, <coughs> you go ahead and return the result. So that is a simple function. So I'm going to go back to our um, to our what to our 
to our image uploading screen okay so in this image uploading screen i've just created uh i'm going to explain everything okay let me just explain everything so i've created an image path okay an image path uh for dp so dp is just display or what i want to display here then i've also created an image path for the compressed file okay for the compressed file and then i've created an image path for the what for the original image or the original image that we had now um we have here do pick so when you're picking here i'm just going to first reset the image sorry so when we pick here i'll go ahead and reset this to nothing and also reset the compressed to nothing and reset also the image path to nothing when someone say i want pick from camera and then we say set state okay set state okay i hope you are together right i hope you are together uh -huh. so uh, let me go to remove also and do the same here on remove image i'll go ahead and do the same so when i click here i just just forget those parts okay i just do the same just forget this i forget this and forget this okay now after doing so um I've come here on top of my build file on my build screen okay so i'm going to say by step so i'll come here or i've come here on top of my build okay so you know build will be called every time so i've come here on top of the build and check if the compressed if the compressed file is not empty if the compressed file is not empty i go ahead and say image path dp equals to the compressed file so it means that after we have compressed the, the file we shall get the path and set it to be the display if it is if it is empty if it is empty i mean if the image is not else if the image path is not empty i go ahead and say the dp to be the image path something like that so after doing so after doing so i go ahead and uh, display the compressed file here so to display the compressed file i'll just simply come here and say if the image path is not empty remember i've already shared with you this source code if the image path dp right now i'm using now the dp if it's not empty i go ahead and display the dp that it is it should display something like that so this will automatically update if it is the what if it is the if it is the compressed version okay so let's go ahead and now uh i've just put this submit button just for testing uh i can call it maybe compress just for this for the sake of okay maybe compress okay now when i'm compressing when i'm compressing when i'm compressing what i do i i i first check if the image path the image the original image path is not empty i go ahead and get the file okay i get the file path and then i go ahead and get its size and then after i just update its size you know we have here the fonts the photo size so we update the size and so we can see it then after i go ahead and reset the compress the compress name so the compress name the, the compression name or the what the, the name of the file that want to compress is uh suppose I, I i don't want to overwrite the original one so that's why i go ahead and split and get the last name you see i get the last name of our original image and then i add the word temporary underscore on the original name of the image then after i get the path so to get the path is just of, of the compressed where the compressed file should be, should be kept i get you can maybe make this on double s I get the compressed file where it should be kept by just simply by just simply saying the parent file and then plus I add stroke the name of this path the name of the 
the path that of the of the compressed path that we considered here the, the name of the file which has the word under temp underscore the file name then after doing so i go ahead and get i wait for the file i say photo or maybe compressed photo equals to utils and then i call our function that we created in the utils which is called image compress okay so we give it the file which is uh, uh we give it the file which is the original file this one here of the image okay the original file and then we give it the destination where it should be saved the compressed file then after doing so i go ahead and get the uh, it will go ahead and give you the one the compressed uh, uh, file so i check if the photo is not null if it is not null i go ahead and get its path and then i display the i go ahead and say um the dp i mean renew the dp will be automatically be displaying on top there so go ahead and say maybe i can even set from here i can just go ahead and say now the dp i mean the image path dp equals to i can as well set it from me equals to this one of compressed so i can see the compressed version how it looks like and i set state then after doing so i go ahead and get its its size you see i get its size just like we discussed yesterday and then after i go ahead and store its size in photo size 2 and then i set state i just show here it's access thing and i set state so in a set state it means that it's going to update this so here i shall have the this photo size 2 it is the size for the compressed okay which is here so i'll have the two there so if i go ahead and save let's go ahead and try to click on compress you'll see everything is okay okay is everything is okay now uh, let's see la so you see this is the image that is being displayed let's 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 make sure that what is being displayed is i mean what we are seeing is what is being displayed so that we can be sure that yes the compressed version is not displaying so how shall we do that we shall come there on top where there is uh, here here on this text okay so maybe we can go ahead and add another text okay just add another text just to display text and you put the file that is being displayed just add it here so to be sure that okay what we are seeing is what is supposed to be there okay i can just put on top let me go to body let me just put it there maybe in the title or is title up bar so i can make this up bar a column and then i come and put the text and display and show what is being displayed okay and show what is being displayed yeah so let me make it uh, size good not make it so small textile font size let me make it super small like uh, maybe uh eight let's make it 10 you not see that 10 and and then maybe say max lines uh mean line to be two can you put max line to be two okay three okay i think that is okay Four. okay so um now you can see you can see here i want you to see here you see what is being displayed it is a temporary image all right so let's try to remove it so when i remove it everything disappears we check in the console hope there's no error okay let's select an image let's select an image let's go ahead and select the heaviest image which is this one click there so our event image is there so i want you to see one thing let me go ahead and zoom let me go ahead and zoom eh? so you can see 
right let me i think i should just put this on a new screen so you can see things clearly all right so that is uh, our screen so you can see um you can see that uh that image that is being displayed is this original image is this original image now uh we have not compressed you see the image is looking very clean it has no problems okay now i want us to go ahead and compress but you know the compress will come when you click on this compress so let's compress so if you see our compress quality you can even make it uh, dynamic let's here compress Am I okay? So here, compress quality is 30. However, we can make it dynamic that is you can pass it. So I think it is accepting what uh, an integer. So when you are calling it this side. We should be able to pass it so let's begin with 30 if you, re you remember the other library that we're using that was very horrible now let's go ahead so you see uh, the image that is being displayed is the original image now let's go ahead and compress so when i click on compress so it has compressed you can see the image even changed eh? so if i come back you see the image that is being displayed it is uh, the, the, the the compressed version but you can see the compressed version is yes it is it has blood slightly you can see eh? but you can see the size that has decreased less than one mb <coughs> for the image that was 3.66 mbs that is very very powerful that is very very powerful i think we can just go with that and you can see the image still looks uh good it still looks good apart from this blue in the skies so we can do the logic like um, if an image is uh, a certain size we should remove we should reduce on the size okay so let's go ahead and so you see how it looks like so you have to look at the quality however the size is awesome the size is awesome it's really nice <clears throat> so let's go ahead and maybe uh pass maybe for example uh for example 10 let's look let's pass 5 and see what we shall have so if we go ahead and pass 5 compress it has finished so it has reduced up to less than 0.1 mb 0.06 mb and you can see the image is still you can be able to see even the image that is a very powerful compression algorithm can you see if I, if i don't zoom the image i'll see if everything is okay but the image has been insanely zoomed I mean compressed you see so this is a very nice library so it's not i shall be using so we are going to write the logic and see maybe if the image is uh, this size should reduce this size it should this quality for example me if it was me if i say that if this image even if i can compress it at let's say 40 okay let's look at 40 okay i compress so i get the size of less than one mb and at 40 quality and the image is still you can still see it is still okay i can go with that for me i can go with that okay i can go with that so in case you want to create my like thumbnails you can use this package to do those small, small thumbnails so when someone wants to zoom then you show him the original image even you can go with 50 like 50 percent quality let's go with that and see so if i compress uh you can see the quality is still better still better and the size less than one 0 0.5 mbs that is very powerful really powerful all right i think we should just go with this uh now i don't know now for the very small images let's try another image and we see so i'll just remove image and then select another image gallery let me go ahead and select this one so this one is 3.6 uh 3.6 what 3.6 mbs the one that's displaying the original one let's go ahead and compress so it has changed uh you can see uh it is still you can still see it is still okay 
you can see the sky is okay and it has reduced to less than the sky is still okay from from uh, from from 2.6 to 2.4 it has reduced up to 3.1 0 0.3 0 0.31 i think that is okay that is okay with me uh so and that is 50 percent quality so if you give it like uh, uh 60 percent like let's say like 30 percent let's go ahead and look at that compress uh 30 quality you see the image is still you can still see the image and the image still looks good okay so everything is still fine all right so that is good that is very very nice and now i want us to test on the small images let's look at image like this one let's look at the image like this one okay so compress uh it was zero point you see it is this this package is nice you don't need, need even too much headache what was 0 0.7 it has reduced to 0 0.04 and the image you can still see it it is still it still looks good it still looks good so we may not even suffer <coughs> so much okay 0 0.17 as well as 0 0.4 the image is still looking okay so we may not suffer we can just go with that you can just go with that however you may need to write some small logic to see that okay if image is uh more than maybe three mbs should use this quality if it is more than this use this quality so that those images that are really small should not be messed up with okay but i think for me i can go with it uh maybe you can just download one last image um do you see Uh, the image that is taken by maybe phone camera and you see how to work with it so image taken by phone camera <clears throat> can see how it works on samsung these are the Vazungu. all right i think we can just go with that let's not take much of our time let's download this one let's go with that so let's go ahead and select the image Let's go and select image, select that one, compress, it's open, it's open, and still looks good. All right, so I think we should just go with that. However, we can write just some small logic and check. Um, so I can just come here and just come to my utils and I write my compression, like uh, the compression quality. Okay, so I can just simply come here and just put my static, static uh function i mean static um static int and then i call it maybe uh get compression quality quality something like that so i just <coughs> get let me just put a that image so i see if this copilot can help me get image compression quality so i'll be giving it the size of an image then it helps me to tell which quality i should use so i come here uh, if the image is more than 100 gb i mean if the image is less than uh, this is too much let me so I'll be receiving the size in MBs. So because it is using too much here. Yeah. So I put here. Size is in MBs. MB. So I go ahead and put. Let me first remove this. Say int. Uh, 
quality equals to 100 by default then i go ahead and put the condition so yeah, that's okay yeah so let me go ahead and return the quality all right so i'll check here so this is what copilot is suggesting to me so if the image is greater than 10 mbs hmm? if the image is greater than uh, 10 mbs it should use 10 quality that is small if the image is greater than 3 mbs it should use 20 yeah, I mean, if the image is greater than 5 MBs, it should use 20. If the image is greater than 2 MBs, it should use uh, 30. If the image is greater than 1 MB, it should use uh, 40. If the image is greater than 0 0.5 MBs, it should use this. If the image is greater than 0 0.02 MBs, it should use 60. If the image is less than, is greater than, is less than this, it should use 90. I think this is a very good suggestion, so you can use it. So I'll be just calling this one uh to determine my quality okay so i think that will work for me so let me go ahead and uh, whether i can put this within the <coughs> within the within the compression so let me make it uh, static it is static so i can go ahead and say uh so since i have the file so i can say maybe um uh, yeah i think that's it only that here i need to so let me go ahead and get file size let me come back and see how we got the file size this i get the file size and then put it to mbs yeah so so this i got the file size so just simply put we get the file yeah so this is just okay this i get the file size and put to mbs so I can put here uh, size. So it's supposed to be double. Should accept double. So I get the quality. So I can say double. I say size equals to that, and then say quality int quality equals to that i think that is very okay so i'll do need again to pass this one so it will get just the file they get its size and convert it to mbs and get its quality and then it substitutes it here so for us we shall just be passing uh the path and the that's it so let me save let me save let's try again so i'll go ahead and remove this image let's select again another heavy image and then process so that the image is uh is is 2.05 and this is the quality that we are getting and that is the size let's try to zoom and look at the skies <laughs> the sky is not the worst i don't know whether we lost it okay so if you lost if you think like you lost it you can still like as well uh increase on uh, the quality Okay, can increase on the quality by by coming here for example this image is uh, between four so you can just simply come here if the image is um, greater than uh, three i mean greater than two you should maybe take 40 here you can just be in here 40 and then you give this one uh, how many how many how many how many how many uh this one should be 50 this one should be 60 this one should be 70 this one should be 80 then this one should be 90 maybe this one should be 95 so that one can also work for you let's just do it one more time so that is the image compression logic for you it is boring but it will be worth it when you start making your own application so you learn once so that is it so you see it is 3.1 and the image still looks okay all right so if we go ahead and select another image let's try to select this one here this one here so go ahead and compress so it is the quality of 40 i believe that's why it has failed let's look at the original one change to the very original before we change it so the original one looks like that look like that Okay, let's look at the sky. Okay, let's compress it. 
it will look like this okay for now we can go with this just for the sake of getting knowledge so we can go with this all right let's proceed now <coughs> now we're done with the image uh now let's work with the image uploading okay so let's work with the image uploading so uh that's where now the whole business is so let me go back here um put here back my project all right uh, i put it in the wrong place my god so let me put it next to our code our code is here i hope yeah i can put it here yeah there you go all right so let me go ahead and zoom out zoom out all right there we go okay so uh now uh we have finished playing with what you want now let's go back now here to the product and um, and work on the logic okay so what i want to do here i want to see i want i'm going to put an array of um i'm going to put an array of of, of images okay so we should have images that are going to be uploaded and then after we after displaying the image that we want to upload then we go ahead and do the logic of uploading images okay so uh before we do that i'm going to begin by giving you the logic that we're going to use so on online we are going to have a class for images so if you go to our database right now uh, we don't have that one yet so let's go here we're going to have a class of image so you can be able to achieve um we can be able to achieve what we want like uh, the, even if you're offline you should be able to add a product okay <coughs> so if you come here if you come here to a database you don't have a table of the data of the images so i'm going to create a table of images and then we see the parameter that we may need to put there and then after doing that then we come to the offline and we see how we can also achieve the, everything that we want so i'll come here i'll come here i'll come here to our market link web project the web one so i'm going to come here remember i've already shared with this code so i'll come here and create here another model called image you can call it image model okay we can see maybe call it image okay you can call it maybe photos let's call it photo so it can be different okay photo but most of people use images let's use photo for now so you just simply say php artist and make model photo and then put dash m so you shall have a table of photos so i'll go ahead and copy that okay so after copy that i'll go ahead and open my terminal and run it so it will create for me migration i'll click and go to this migration <coughs> so when i got this migration i'm going to come here and then i'll go ahead and put um let's see now what are we going to put here <laughs> also many things that we can put first of all we need someone who uploaded this image okay we need someone who upload this image who uploaded this image um okay so let's do that um we can just simply say foreign for foreign 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 for foreign id for and then i put user put here user and then i put class and then i say maybe uploaded by okay upload upload the id uploaded by underscore id and then we make it nullable we can make it just uh, let's make it required because at least we should be able to have an id in order to upload something all right so after doing that we're going to give it its path i don't know if that is required this title this description hmm. is this necessary let's go ahead and give it its uh so it's going to be text i'm going to give it uh it's uh we're going to give it src okay we can give it path that can be like uh, the local path and then we give it let's give it src and then 
that's our C. Then we give it thumbnail. Okay, thumbnail. So SRC will be now it's maybe like local local link. You give it title. Okay, you give it title, and then give it maybe details. All right, description. That's not required. Don't think you need the description. Maybe we can give the description and leave title. So let's make this one also text because we do not know. Maybe when we proceed, someone can be able to write description on an image, something like that. Okay. So let's make uh, this one nullable. Uh, let's make these two nullables. Okay. Make this one nullable and make this one nullable. Okay. Nullable. Okay. Now, when you will be when you'll be when you'll be um when you'll be creating a product uh for example if you're going to support offline capabilities you may need a session id in a way that when you so when you either you're editing you're editing a, a product or um either when you're editing a product or you're adding a new product at least you may need a session id so that we can be able to attach those things in your session even though you're offline something like that uh, I used to call it local ID, maybe like a, a local ID, something that you use where you, before you upload something, but it's good. Let's call it session ID. So session ID, session ID, it will be just like kind of unique key that we'll be using to uh, to create an image. I mean, when you create, when you, when you, when you're, when you're in the process of uploading an image, Aha, uh -huh. so another thing that we may need, uh, we may need, um, for example, parent type, whether this image is attached to a product, which is attached maybe to user, something like that, something like that, okay? So you may need something like, uh, so I can put a maybe, this can be string. be parent type and maybe it's the size of the image size can keep it a string just makes life not hard to make life simple all right so we're going to need an src it's going to be like the path of the image <coughs> then we we'll need a what we shall need um, a thumbnail we shall need a parent type whether it is attached to a product or it is attached to the user ID or it's attached maybe to another type or a blog post, something like that. Then we shall need uh, the size of the image, then description, and then the session ID on which this image will be uh, uniquely identified. Okay. Maybe you can also need the parent ID. Okay. Maybe you can need also maybe parent ID. So lastly, we may need a parent ID. So since we don't know how the parent will look like, Mm, but the ID is always being integers. So we, <coughs> we can just make the parent ID to be a string because it can't be more than that. Okay, parent ID. That's it. I think that's all we need. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do what? And uh, so I can maybe the status. Mm, maybe the status shall push when you are offline. Uh, for example, to see if the image has been uploaded or not. If it fails, also maybe with the error message okay we shall do that offline let's go ahead and process so i'll go ahead and let me go ahead and migrate php and migrate so that's it we have our we have our what our migrations there and then after we're going to generate our what our model photos um, our model photo however you can go ahead and create um you can go ahead and create uh, we can go ahead and create um, the controller but you can do that one later all right so the next thing that we're going to do now is to create the the model i mean the the, the model the local model of photos okay <coughs> so what we're going to do here um we're going to go ahead and come to our project which is under localhost stroke um, market link, market link web, and then you come to this one. I don't know which is the names I use here. Plus two five six 
0.7820466. Hope that one works. Plus 2567832046655. Let's look at that one. It is 4321. That is working. Alright, so in the code that I gave you, we have this tab called code generator. So use this code generator to generate uh code source code uh if you want to learn more about this you can watch my previous tutorial of uh, inventor track however <coughs> if you have the code you'll be able to find it in your source code how we did that logic of generating code so i'm going to generate the model or the code for the for the for the image okay so i just simply come here come here and then I'm going to create here another model. So I can call it here photo. Um, now I'm going to add the word look. Photo model. Photo, photo mod, model. Okay. Photo model. And then I put the word local here. Or I can just put the word local. Photo local model. So I'm putting local because this image, these things are going to be done first offline totally offline then the one that will be syncing with the online ones it will be the separate one okay that's why i'm putting the word local so i'm putting local there and then i come here and connect it to the table of what to the table of photos okay and then the endpoint can be anything so i can say maybe api stroke this that's our endpoint so here we go this is our photo model so if i click on uh, generate where is it Is it is this the code generator that you always use? Uh, let me see. Our routes. Our routes. Routes. Where is the source code? Is this market link? Yes. Mm, route. Okay. Routes. So routes and admin. Gen okay, you have two generators here. I think one is called Gen. I think that's the one that we are using. Gen, not gens. So where did this one go? Did this one come here? So which is which? I don't know anyway. So let's do this one from Gen, not gens. Come here, click on Gen. Come and put photo model and then put photos can put anything that you want because I'm going to you know, not going to use it. So there we go. This is the model that we want. So I click on generate model. It will write for me the Flutter code. So I'll not need to hustle. Like it has all the logic that I want. All right. So I'll go ahead and copy this. Our time is up. So I'll go ahead and copy this. After copying that, I'll come to our project. I'll come to our project. Okay. I'll come to our project. Then I'll come here to our models. Okay. What is our models? It is here. I right click and then say new file and then I say put a local model that. So that is our photo model. Then I'll go ahead and copy all this, control A, control C, and then come and paste it here. All right. So um, now that is our model that we're having here. So what we're going to do right now. Um, what we're going to do right now is uh, we are going to uh, we are going to do what? What we're going to do right now? We're going to we are going um, to do what? We are going to remove the online logic because it's going to be like the offline. We don't need again the online logic. Okay, so I'm going to remove this the endpoint. So I come here and remove get online. I remove this logic of get online we already know what i'm talking about and then i come also remove here the logic of get online okay so here we skipped something the where we always skip it it has to be like this right so i remove this get online yeah, i think that's all just remove this get online so i'll have those two i'll have, I'll have it like that also one more thing that you need to add here is the image upload status sometimes 
uh, images. I mean, sometimes something may fail in background since we're going to do these things in background. So you need to know was something successful or it failed. If some something fails, you should be able to show the user so they have full control over their things. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, work on that. So to do that, I'll just simply come and go ahead and put here. <coughs> And go ahead and put here. Um, uh, so I'm going to put here status. So I'm going to put here two more fields. Okay, I can put maybe uh, status to see if it's submit is successful or not. And then I put here maybe um, message. Okay, or maybe error message, something like that. In case there's an error or something like of the sort. So I'll go ahead and do that. Remember, this is going to be just offline. Okay. So I'll go ahead and add those two in uh, here. I'll go ahead and add them here in the item when you're converting it from uh, JSON. I'll come and add the status and also the error message when you're converting it from JSON. Okay, I'll go ahead and cut them again. Come here and add them when you're inserting it in the local table. So I'll go ahead and add the status and go ahead and add the error message all right so i'll go ahead and cut it again i think then lastly is uh, uh converting uh to json so i'll go ahead and add this guy here status and then the error message i think that's that's all that's all okay so that is all so right now we are going to go ahead and now work on the what we're going now to go ahead and work on the selecting the images okay selecting the images and then displaying them here so the user can have full control all right so we're going to go here you're going to come here on top i'm going to go on top there well, let's go on top uh so that's the our model of what of local photos uh, so let's go now to test upload i mean sorry sorry let's go to product create screen uh now here i'm going to uh begin <coughs> by creating um i'm going to begin by creating just uh, a simple list for images okay for just images just a simple list and then after that list we shall go ahead and now put the real images okay so let's say that we're going to have a list of what of image of local images okay so i can just simply put here and say local images okay and then make them to be null i mean to be an empty list by default okay so i go ahead and import it okay and import it uh, so if you want maybe to be well organized we can put these local images on the stock item itself okay so let's go to the stock item itself and then add a parameter called local images okay local images okay so that's it all right so i'm going to just first add here some dummy images okay so let's go ahead uh, here and say maybe uh, just put a simple function for adding dummy images so add dummy dummy images okay i'm just going to add there some dummy images so we shall go ahead and say our uh, widget dot item dot uh, local images dot what dot uh, add okay so in here I can just simply say a uh, uh, new and then I, I, may, I may not even that put I may not even put the word new and then just pass uh, this image just just passing this nothing that is totally empty something like that okay just an empty thing okay so we can use maybe this one of add all add all i don't know if this one will work and then you put here some kind of array yep i think that is okay and then you add like 10 of them i just want to see how our ui will work okay so after i'll make sure that i always we can do like this 
let me always clear it when you call this clear and then after we go ahead and set this is just for testing eh? they're just empty things then you go here and set status okay so let's go to build so you know build will always be called so let's go to build i don't know whether i should put in build or okay let's go to where there okay let's let me put here set state so, okay we can call set state outside there okay let's go to title title here in app bar and just put uh actions and then put maybe some icon let me remove this yes i put an icon button okay so i'm going to remove everything that is inside this icon button just so just be on pressed and then make this one an add something like that okay so we have a button there on in the corner put maybe size maybe 30 it's gonna be big okay so i have the uh icon in the corner and then when you click on this icon you just need to call this add images eh? and then say set state we're just it's just a temporary thing eh? so i'm going to use it for adding the images randomly there so what i want to do right now i want to put here a horizontal list where someone can can add can scroll images in horizontally okay so i'm going to come here to our build okay so you have your column here so column is not scroll is it scrollable it is under single child scrollable so it is scrollable under here i'm going to put here a horizontal list okay so maybe i can create separately i can say maybe um display i can say maybe local images widget let me just create it here so i just say local images list okay so i'll go ahead and press alt and enter alt and enter and create this method okay so this method is going just to return return a list of what of images so i um, can ask copilot uh to do it for me make uh maybe return list of hori horizontal maybe say return hori horizontal list of images so the like, copilot can do that for me hope so so i think it has done so i think that it has done so i'm just going to do the work of explaining all right the work of explaining mm -hmm. so i can just simply check if images are empty i'm going to explain it eh? so don't worry otherwise if you feel if you feel sad you should also buy copilot so if is is empty i just simply put here and then copilot will just for me no images selected perfect all right so i'll just i'm going to explain everything okay so let me go ahead and add some images you see boom it has added images for me so i can go ahead and add here you see that is beautiful and when i click here the image disappears you see it is disappearing it's actually disappearing and then when it's removed there's no images all right so that's where we're going to start from here tomorrow okay i'm now going to explain that now we're going to be able to select images and those images will first display here we put that process of uploading the images that's what we're going to do uh in our next lecture that's what we're going to do in our next lecture so i'll begin by explaining how we add we've added these and then after 
we go ahead and work on the logic of uploading the images if someone is connected on internet if they're not connected we keep them offline until they connect so that's what that's what we're going to work on in the next lecture so make sure that you don't miss so that's it for today i hope uh, you've learned some stuff uh go ahead and practice and make sure that you get everything that i'm uh, elaborating i know it's boring but if you don't give up when you're stuck if you ask for help trust me uh, these things are doable and once you have this kind of knowledge uh, you'll have added a very big thing on your career that's it for today unless there's a question if there is no goodbye and see you in the next lecture